My office is in De Beauvoir, which is in East London, but kind of edging towards north. And it's pretty around here. There's a lovely cafe around the corner, but it's also still in touch with the kind of more grimy Dalston vibe. In East London, especially this part of it, there's people that don't care about fashion. They're just old men that happen to have great style. Green's been the bane of my existence because we wanted it for our uh, packaging, for the shoe boxes and for the bags. And I live in a Pantone book trying to find the right one. I think it's like forest green ended up being our one. But it's, yeah, the thing they don't tell you about design is you spend your life with a piece of fabric this large, just agreeing on something that's going to be commissioned that you spend hundreds of thousands of pounds on and it's all based on a stamp size thing. I was re-watching Mad Men, which is a very seductive programme to watch if you like kind of costumes. And I was thinking about Betty Draper and, um, I don't know, slow motion Easter parties, um, 60s mums deliberately drugging themselves to deal with it all. And I liked the idea of this Valium haze, a kind of children's party. This collection was meant to be like the repressed women turning psychedelic in the 60s and maybe hiring a clown. It's like yeah. that kind of saccharine um, nightmare, Can candy-colored nightmare. I'm obsessed with lighting, I'm a real stickler. But to the point where we haven't got the right lights in here for design, we've just got ones that I think look nice and cast a nice light for the late afternoon but I love lots of lamps. I hate an overhead light on. I cannot handle it. If ever someone's staying in, if, if I have friends staying in my apartment in the East Village and I go around there and they've got the overhead lights on, I'm like, I can't, I'm screaming at them. What are you doing? That's why I put all these things around here, to make it cozy. My big dream was to have loads of plants everywhere, but unfortunately none of us have the nurturing abilities, so they all died. And then they come in every day and be like, someone's killing the plants. But I think because I made everyone paranoid about watering them, we overdid it. Plus we don't understand like, I, everyone's really young. No one knows what they're doing. <laughs> we don't know. They're really good at their jobs, but none of us know how to look after plants. We're just not in that zone yet. 